Good morning everybody, my name is Wes Davies and welcome back to another video. I'm actually up here in the picturesque, in the serene Jai Xian, Jai County. And I'm up here for a pretty special reason. I'm here to explore some of the very, very local culture and especially the food today. And this is all through a program called the Tian Mama. And this is a government assisted program which I was very, very happy to learn about. I'll explain a little bit more as the days goes on. But for now I can tell you that it's a very unique way for the government to assist the locals in pursuing their dreams, their passions, their art projects, and in particular it's a way to showcase their culinary skills. Because around here there's really a local spirit and, uh, and there's especially mothers and grandmothers who grew up in these very, very local communities who have very, very special talents when it comes to preserving their unique culinary history. And so the government has stepped in, they provided support and assistance for these women to start their own local businesses and their local restaurants and local shops uh, to help share that cultural knowledge with the rest of Taiwan and the world. So without further ado, I'm going to start exploring Jai County here and I'm going to check out three of these very, very incredible Tian Mama locations. Okay, I've reached my first stop today. It is lunchtime, luckily I'm hungry. Uh, it's been a long day driving up from Kaohsiung. And as you can see here, this is a Tian Mama establishment. Wherever they have this program, this initiative, you will see that logo on the door so you know you're in the right place. And they've graciously invited me in here to try a very, very local and traditional Jai E lunch experience. So I can't wait to get inside, meet the locals, and I'll show you everything that we eat for lunch. I have a feeling it's going to be very, very tasty. This looks like an incredible lunch today. I, I can't believe I get so lucky to get to hang out with all these wonderful locals here in Jai County. And one of the things I did mention before is that one of the special things about the Tian Mama program is that they really, really do their best to source all their ingredients from the local farms and the local communities. And I can see there's a lot of seafood here on this table and I hear that comes from the seashore right here in Jai County. So I'm just going to start enjoying this beautiful lunch and uh, I'm gonna say thank you to these wonderful people who have invited me here today. Dosha. <laughs> All right, they seem to be very excited for me to try this one. Uh, let's, let's give it a shot. I'm not quite sure what's inside. Mmm. That's really good. Hen hao zi. So I think inside is a little bit of pork, oysters. He said ma lin shu, which I think is potatoes and several other different kinds of vegetables. It's really crispy, crunchy on the outside. A little bit sweet inside, maybe there's a sweeter sauce. And as I mentioned, all the ingredients are from the local farms. They said some of the ingredients are even from the field just outside this restaurant. And this is all homemade. It really feels like I'm having dinner with my family right now. This, this is so nice, they're so accommodating, and they make me feel so welcome today. This is, this is lovely. All right, we just finished an absolutely wonderful lunch. That was one of the best meals I've had in a very, very long time. Really, really traditional, family-style, local meal. And I want to give a big thank you to the Tim Mama. Thank you so much, Dosha, Dosha. Really, really amazing feeling to come here and help out your local community. And I think this is honestly such a wonderful program that they're doing here in Taiwan. So thank you so much, Shisheni. <laughs> Alright, I'm just about to head out to my next destination. I'm out here in their beautiful, very traditional backyard and I just wanted to say I had a really, really nice time with those very friendly people here in Jai County and that food was so delicious. I mean, there was a tray of bamboo and baby corn. There was a huge bowl of basically nothing but oysters, clams, and bailobo radishes. And it was just chock full of oysters. I haven't seen that many oysters in one place in a very long time. Such a nice experience hanging out with those Tian Mamas. And I just love that this program is doing the best that it can to help out these communities and support these local businesses, these local mothers and grandmothers and families 
It's just such a great initiative and I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be filming and of course, I am very happy to be sharing just incredible meals like that with new friends. So uh, I can't wait to see what comes next. All right, so I am here in the next place, Changyao Pottery Workshop, way out here, as I mentioned, in Jai County. We're actually quite far from Jai City, but I just love all the little neighborhoods out here. I love the little farms. This whole place just kind of has a very charming and nostalgic feel to it. And inside this specific shop, uh, you can see it is just full of all these amazing pieces of pottery, these works of art. Uh, that people from the local neighborhoods and from the local community have created on their own or in their own workshops and then they bring them here and this is almost like a processing center. You can come here to purchase any of the items you see here and they also pack them up and they'll ship them right to you wherever you are in Taiwan. And this shop in particular, uh, they were telling me that when the farming season isn't quite as busy, maybe during the off season, that's when the women actually have time to pursue projects like this, like this pottery. Uh, so then that's why the government has created or helped to subsidize and support just these local shops here to, to help those women uh, find their true passion in life. Uh, besides just working on farming all the time. And I just love being in here. You can tell it's just got this um, very local feeling, full of love, full of heart. She's over here, she's packing everything up, getting ready to, for them to be shipped. Uh, and she's just working so hard. I just, uh, I've, I've been really enjoying myself today, walking around the shop and taking a look at all these very beautiful, very special pieces. Some of them are absolutely gorgeous. You can really tell that they have uh, a very handmade handcrafted feeling to them, all hand painted. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep on looking around the shop, checking out all of these pieces, and then I will catch up with you guys in just a little bit. All right, I'm at the last place here, which is QQ Mishang Wu. And this place is a real workshop. Uh, they have all kinds of things that they make here and they're all locally sourced. They're, they're from all the ingredients that you can find just in the surrounding county and countryside. Uh, we have lots and lots of zongzis, which this one still feels warm to the touch. I'm really looking forward to trying this. Uh, we have all kinds of what appear to be cakes. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not too familiar with the, the very, very local snacks that they have. Uh, I think they must have just made them. Let's try it out. Mm. That is very, very interesting. It's got this really chewy, kind of bouncy texture on the outside. It's got a little bit of the strong flavor. I think this is tarragon, all from the local gardens. Nice mixture of meat and vegetable inside. It looks like the work never stops. Um, I think I'm going to take a bite of the zongzi just because of how fresh and warm I can feel that it is. I don't think I've had a zongzi for really long time. I'm really looking forward to this. Ooh, that looks good. Big pieces of pork inside there as well. Nice sticky rice. And as I said, it is still warm. Mm. Mm. So I think that's where this place gets its name is the QQ, the chewiness. Uh, I guess everything here is a little bit chewy. So that's that's an interesting way to get your name. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. All right, I am back home on my apartment, home from Jai, and I really had such a great time exploring those three wonderful Tian Mama locations in Jai County. Uh, I think it's just such a great initiative and a great program that the government has created. I believe that my friends and fellow YouTubers, Lucas, Alan, and Prazi, they also have videos about various Tian Mama locations around Taiwan. If you want any more information about this, I will link everything right down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.